What's up, guys, and welcome back to Card Capital. I'm your host, Super Genji88, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tournament report. I went to my locals, and there were only seven players entered in today's tournament, so it was a little bit smaller of a turnout. I decided I'd give my Bermuda Triangle deck a try. If you'd like to see the deck list, um, let me get at least, you know, 10 likes on this video. I know my, this channel is not quite as big as my other one, so 10 likes, we'll do a deck profile. Um, I ended up playing against Kage Ro first round, and I 2 0 him. He got grade locked the second game, uh, so it was pretty short and sweet. Uh, the Yeah, you're, you're probably wondering to yourself, how did he get grade locked? Well, he guarded for damage um, when I attacked the first two times. And he, you know, so he couldn't use Conroe to get a grade one the next turn. So, you know, I, I kind of felt bad for him. So I told him the second time around, I'm like, maybe you want to take damage this time so you can search it out. So by then he was already three, three turns in and, you know, finally grade one and yeah it was, it was just a rough game for him but uh the second round i played against uh, a good friend john who was playing narukami and i was able to get the ride chain off the first game and it was a pretty long game it was really good back and forth but i finally beat him first game second game again it was a decent back and forth but i didn't get the ride chain off so uh, I lost that one, and then third game, uh, we were playing, and I knew we only had a few minutes left in the round, and um, so I decided to grade one rush him, because uh, as per uh, Vanguard rules, um, when time is called, the player with the um, least amount of damage wins, so um, we were both at one damage, uh, it went to my turn, time was called. Uh, I called everything in my hand, so I had three f full rows of grade ones and zeros. And unfortunately, he only had grade threes in his hand, and I just made an attack with my Vanguard. He couldn't block, and so I did the second damage to him, and um, I won in time. And then third round, I would have faced uh, Pale Moon. However, I asked the gentleman if he wanted to split first and second, um, which used to be six and four packs so it would have been five each however uh recently i found out my locals changed the number of packs given away so it only <laughs> ended up being six and three but then there was also a deck box um in the mix so uh, i asked him what he wanted because i really didn't care and so i got the deck box along with uh, four packs of the divas that i'm going to open up for you guys today uh, I'm a little bit upset that the uh, locals keeps giving out divas, but I can understand because it is the newest set. So okay, they're giving out the newest set. Um, I also suspect that it's possible that you know it's not selling as well as it was anymore. So you know they probably want to get rid of it. Um, you know because most everybody has the cards. So I may actually put a pause on going to Vanguard tournaments until. Um, two weeks from now when you know set four gets released and hopefully they will give away set four packs as prizes and then I uh, if not then uh, I'll really be a little bit disappointed in that but let's go ahead and get into these packs sorry for the long drawn out report let's see what we got here <laughs> Hoplito Flores don't have enough of that from BTO2. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Two top final Flores. Wow. And this is a, I hate the reprints in this. In this set, but I guess it's got to be done. 
Super Idol Riviera. Wow, nothing but rares. Let's hope my luck turns around this time. And Alina. All right, well, at least I pulled a uh, double R out of all that. And uh, I got the deck box, so that's my tournament report for this Sunday. And uh, let me get those 10 likes, and I'll put up a deck profile of uh, Bermuda Triangles, guys. As always, thanks for watching.